Welcome to Copper Canes. We are your hosts today. I am Mr. Demnock. And I'm Sweepy. Today we'll be looking at The Surge, a Dark Souls-like science fiction game. It was developed by Deck 13 and published by Focus Home Interactive. We'll be looking at story, gameplay, characters, graphics, music, and theme. After watch, we will come up with a final grade based upon these elements. The world design is well done. The dark lit corridors, the sparking machinery, the sounds of the factory, they're all really well done. You can also approach the game at your own pace. It doesn't force you to move on and get out of areas quickly. You can take your time and build up an inventory. The way you can obtain new blueprints is very creative in the sense that you have to target specific parts of your enemies in order to, well, take them. With that, the combat is very fluid and you get really good feedback once you've struck the enemy. It lets you know when the enemy's been hit. They also nailed the theme of being post-apocalyptic. The world outside in the first level seems bright, but there's absolutely no life. The only thing you find are corpses and some rogue salvage drones who really want to kill you. It is definitely a Dark Souls game. You either love it or you hate it. There's not much in between. Also, the weapons feel slow, especially since you are an augmented human, and you're supposed to be much stronger than a regular human. The music in the game is very well done, but it's almost non-existent at the same time. There are some clipping issues while fighting, especially during execution moves. Last not least, the game's pace is very slow for a Dark Souls-like game. It is nice, but at the same time, it's not something you would expect. For the story, I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Gameplay, 4 out of 5. Characters, 4 out of 5. Graphics, 4.5 out of 5. Music, 3.5 out of 5. And the theme is a 5. Overall, my final grade for The Surge is 4 out of 5. My grade will be very similar to Sheepies. I give the story 3.5 out of 5. Gameplay, 4 out of 5. Characters, 3 out of 5. Graphics, 4.5 out of 5. Music, 3.5 out of 5. And finally, team 5 out of 5. This concludes my final grade at 4 out of 5. All in all, we give The Surge 4 out of 5. If you like Dark Souls games and you were wondering what it would be like in a sci-fi setting, this might be a game for you to pick up. If you are not a fan of the Dark Souls series, however, it's probably a pass. Although, we can still recommend this game. This concludes our review of The Surge. If you enjoyed our content, please consider subscribing. If you have any feedback, please let us know. See you in the next one. Thank you.